Welcome back to Tightwad Workshop. Today I'm on site at my brother's farm where we're working on replacing the last of the original sheepyard fences that our dad built about 60 years ago now. The new fences are made from welded steel and this top rail is made from 50mm pipe. Steel pipes become very expensive over the past few years so we'll be recycling these short pieces of pipe for the job. These short sections were previously used in wooden paling fences in Canberra and I was able to buy a truckload of them fairly cheaply. I'll be using the back of my truck as the workbench today. I'll start by removing any end caps using a hammer and chisel. We'll save these caps because they might be useful later. Now we'll use the chop saw to clean up this ragged end on the tube. Unfortunately my camera's autofocus started tracking the sparks, so this shot wasn't as spectacular as I'd hoped it'd be. These pipes are coated with zinc, which is hard to weld through and really bad for your lungs if you breathe the fumes. So I'll remove the zinc from the ends of the tubes by dipping them in this hydrochloric acid. The zinc is very reactive to the acid, but the steel pipe needs multiple hours of exposure before it gets affected. All these shaky out of focus shots are how you can tell you're watching a genuine tightwad workshop video. After a couple of minutes I'll rinse the pipe in this bucket of clean water. If I zoom in you can now see that the zinc's been removed from the steel pipe and if you have sharp eyes you can also see this very nervous caterpillar. Now we can move the pipes back to the truck for welding. I'm going to use these two pallets as an alignment jig. This particular chop saw doesn't cut at a perfect 90 degree angle but since we cut the ends off both pieces using the same saw we should be able to rotate them around for a perfect fit. I'll start by welding a short segment on this side. I'm having a little trouble with the rod sticking, possibly because the pipe's still a bit wet. Once the weld cools we can chip off the slag and clean it up with a wire brush. Well, nobody's going to ask me to work on oil pipelines with that kind of welding, but it's plenty good enough for a farmer weld. Now we can rotate the pipe 180 degrees and weld the opposite side in the same way. It's important to weld the opposite side next because the weld metal shrinks as it cools and otherwise it'll pull the joint out of alignment. Once we've welded all the way around the joint we can disconnect the ground lead and take our new long tube to the completed stack. I'll show more of the fence building process in some future videos, but today's job is just joining these tubes. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.